Good morning. Today we're going to talk about cook sets. So you see a lot of information out on the web about storing food and you need to be storing food but you also need to have a means of cooking said food and I know I know there are plenty of canned goods that you can eat right out of the can there are plenty of other items that you can eat right out of the package and that's great however it is nice to have a nice cooked meal, whether it's a freeze-dried meal that you're rehydrating or whatever, it's still better than just eating it out of the can or out of the bag. Especially if you're in a you know, colder climate, that's gonna help you to get warm, feel warm. That's going to help you in the long run. I have many, many, many cook sets. Not even gonna be able to get them all into the shop more than likely, but these are just a few. Uh, I have larger ones that I keep at home. These are the ones that I have at work. Some of these will be going back home now that we have established a cook system for the shop for us to be able to make our lunch. And that's another thing too. Don't just buy these and stick all this stuff in a box. Use it. This right here, this is not something that you're gonna, you know, I'm gonna make this meal and I need to boil water, I'm gonna set this up and get it going while I go do something else, no. This right here, Jet Boil is an apt name. We've been using this for a week and it, it boils in a minute. <laughs> so you're gonna end up ruining your, your whole setup by thinking that this that you can treat these items like you would a regular gas stove because they don't operate like a gas stove. They don't behave like a gas stove. So we're just gonna go through a few. I already have a video up on the jet boil. A great little way to have a cooking set up for, you know, you get a little canister and one of these. You've got a great little cook set for, you know, what? 120 bucks. This is another option. This is from Tokes. It does come in this nifty little bag. This is titanium. And then down inside here. I have more goodies to go with it. So you can buy this as a kit and it's going to come with everything but this little stove. So it's going to come with this and this is a little twig stove. So if you have the means to be outside to use this, then great. If not, save that for whenever times are better. We're thinking of emergency situations. The power's out. The water's out so on and so forth. So, I also keep in there this. What is this? This is a small, super compact, super lightweight, little stove. You flip all these little things up, put them into place, in the correct order. And now you have a little stove. As you can see, I have used it. I have tried it out. This one's made by VRS, but there are tons of these available. Again, use this stuff. Get familiar with it before the emergency happens. And I'll put all this back together in a minute. It's another very inexpensive one from Ozark Trail. Ozark Trail is a Walmart company. We use this one, wow, for a couple of weeks every day at work. The really cool thing about this one, other than the fact it's only like $12, is it comes with this. So if you put this on here like so, 
Now, instead of using one of these, you can use one of these. This is the adapter. I have tried it on both and we used it for lunch exclusively every day with, with this canister right here. Fed two people. Boil water, we were doing mainly like ramen noodles, stuff like that. This one also comes in a little pouch. Keep everything together. You can throw a, throw a lighter in there or one of these little bad boys. It's a little piezo. It's just the igniter. But pick one of these up. These are not as cheap as a lighter, but they'll last forever if you take care of it. This is what we were using with that, that little stove. It's just a Stanley cook cup, flip down handle, lid. Like $15. Then we also have this. This is a big Coleman burner to go on the big canister. Much, much larger. You can see this is about the size of my hand. You can cook a much more substantial meal with this as a control. You just have to light it. So you have all of these options. You have a couple of options for fuel. These come in like three different sizes. There's a, a tiny one that will actually fit down inside the jet boil. There's this one, which is what I call the regular one. And then they have one that's about double this height. You just need a vessel to, to put the water in or the food, fuel, and a way of igniting and using that fuel to cook with. Put all these together. You saw how small this little setup is. This has everything you need to eat with freeze-dried food. This is what a lot of backpackers use. This is where I got the idea. Oh, by the way, I totally forgot, but that's why I keep it in there. This little stove also comes with a new O-ring. That O-ring goes right inside there. It's the last thing you want is your fuel leaking while you're trying to use it. That's, that's not good at all. But you put all this together. in here, put your lighter down in there, slide this back in here like so, put the lid on, put the whole thing back in its little carry sack here. There, look at that, right there. Take these out of the equation. Just this right here, you have a little cook set. If you get the larger pot and do not put the twig stove in there, you can actually put this inside there and have it all in one container, just like you can with a jet boil. So this pot being titanium is a lot more expensive than this one being stainless steel. It's all personal preference. I have both. Stainless steel is a lot less expensive than titanium. Titanium is a lot more lightweight. It's very strong, very durable. The main thing you want to watch for is just make sure whatever you get is made for cooking and not just drinking. You want these to be single wall. No, you don't want the vacuum seal, you don't want the double wall, single wall cooking vessel. But this right here, you're looking at what? Less than $30. For this right here, you add a thing of water into the mix, and now you have a complete cooking set for 30 bucks that you can put in a cabinet and forget about it until you need it. Easy peasy. So that's what I got for you guys for today. 
Thanks for watching and take care.